All right, a world premiere musical is now playing at the Goodspeed Opera House called The Twelve. Yeah, and it's a unique twist on a story that you might think you already know. To tell us more, we are joined by Wesley Taylor, who plays Tom in the show. Good are you morning. Are you doubting Tom? I am doubting Tom. What on earth did you do to get that role? <laughs> well... You know, he's the cynic, he's the challenger, the devil's advocate of the group. Put your fingers in my hands. Uh, in, yeah, in the wound. In the, yeah. in the wound, That's right. and uh, I will make you a believer. That's right. But it's the people who don't have to put their fingers in the wound. Who are the true the believers. true believers. Yeah. Good job, yeah. Scott. Wow, that's oh, good. Well, that's my, uh, my, my upbringing there. <laughs> Tell us about the show. Same. Um, okay, so The Twelve is a new musical about the disciples of Jesus in the immediate aftermath of his crucifixion. Okay. So the show isn't uh, the show does not have a religious agenda. It's not evangelizing to its audience. Um, it's ultimately about grief and faith and doubt and how this particular group deals with the sudden loss of their leader. Yeah. Yeah. And I play Tom, who is uh, challenging all of them, especially now that that Jesus is gone. Um, and poking holes in this new concept called Christianity. Called Christianity, yeah. exactly. Now, what's really unique about this musical is it's set in modern times, right? Yeah, well, it's it's <laughs> it's, it's sort of both set in yeah. modern times and 2,000 years ago. It's sort of a a concept. John Doyle is the director, and he directs with sort of like uh, a Brechtian style of. Um, it's, it takes place somewhere in the world, so it feels like America, it also could be Galilee, Jerusalem, mm -hmm. um, it could be right now, it could be 2,000 years ago, um, but it's sort of for the audience to uh, make that decision Which for themselves. Which is really nice. Yeah. That's yeah, a that's really, really nice that's, It's spin. really right? cool. Yeah. I love yeah. the spin. It's awesome. To tell us about your, uh, you are not a, not a novice to Broadway. <laughs> not at all. You have been on, uh, on that stage a lot. Yes. Tell us a little bit about your roles. Um, well, I've been very lucky. I, I've originated three roles on Broadway. That's uh, incredible. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Rock of Ages was my debut. I was 21, and that was just this gift that kept giving. I, I, it was an off-Broadway show that got so much love and transferred to Broadway, ran for six years. Wow. Um, exceeded all my expectations. Uh, the Adams Family with Nathan Lane and B.B. Newworth. I played the boyfriend of Wednesday. This is very um, exciting. Well, thanks. Yeah. And then SpongeBob was, was my last Broadway show um, before the pandemic, and I was the, the evil plankton. Uh, <laughs> trying to achieve yeah. world domination. <laughs> That's right. Uh, what, is, what is one of your most favorite roles that you've ever played? Because you have a lot. That's a good question. Um, you know, I got to be the MC in Cabaret. Um, you did, which is, yeah, and that the was Joel a, Gray role. That's right. Wow. That's, that's right. impressive. Yeah, that was a, a bucket list one for me. Um, actually, talking about <laughs> religious, I, I was in an act of God, the one man show. Um, as God. Uh, oh my God, you played God. <laughs> did that in Denver. Yeah, a lot of, uh, I've been very lucky to have a lot of great, back great opportunities. To, back to the 12. Yeah. Uh, that, that's a huge cast. Yeah, uh, 13 of us. 14. 13. Yeah, yeah. And um, do you have to be, I, I talked to someone yesterday and we were talking about going to see the show. She goes, I think it might be too heavy for me. Talk, talk to us about that. And who, what age group is this situated for? Um, well, it is. It's mature. Okay. Um, I, I would say don't bring your your kids. Okay. To Perfect. This. All right. Good. Um, there are some adult themes and some language, and uh, but it's and it is heavy. There is some heavy themes that we're dealing with, but there's also a lot of light in it too. And there's mm -hmm. some humor, and there's some. It's very universal, actually. Uh, I think audiences. You know, we've done about a week of previews, and audiences are pretty overwhelmed and um, surprised by how it felt. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, I really want to go see this. Yeah. Please do. Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, it's it sounds so interesting mm -hmm. to me. And you're in the Good Speed Opera House. Yeah. Which is just an amazing historic. space. Yeah. It's our it's 60th year anniversary. It's so amazing. this is huge. This yeah. is a big I year. I don't know if you knew. It used to be a um, D uh, D O T garage. I these, did. Yeah. Where they held the salt and the sand to do the roads. And then they were going to knock it down, and then people got a hold, and they said, "We got to revive this space." Yes. And now look at you. You're playing. At one point, I think Catherine Hepburn wanted to yeah, buy it. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's set, there's so yeah. much history to it. Now, where are you from originally? Orlando, Florida. Wow. Oh, really? 
Really? Of all places. Did you, yeah. did you work at the... <laughs> of course. At, you you did! You can't grow up there and not <laughs> somehow Did you have to put that computer. on your resume when you went to go play Plankton? Oh, I scrubbed it all from my resume. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's funny because I, I was kind of... Um, I got some success right after drama school and people were like, yeah, you never paid your dues, you never waited tables. And I was like, I oh. paid my dues. I, paid I, my dues. <laughs> I was a strolling mime in a theme park, okay? <laughs> I paid my dues. And where, where did you go to you school? school? Yeah. Um, Stop it. Stop asking my question. <laughs> Get out of my head. Get out of my head. <laughs> I went to uh, Dr. Phillips. It's a it's a visual performing arts magnet high school in Orlando. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was an arts high school. No, that's great. That's great. That's really yeah. cool. What advice do you have for anyone out there who really wants to be on Broadway? Who wants to be you. Yeah, exactly. God. God. <laughs> oh, man. Um, you know, oversaturate yourself with the what you want to eventually do so if you're gonna if you're dreaming of being on broadway you got to go to new york and see what's on broadway and Absolutely. you got to keep oversaturating yourself with the content and uh you know now you can go on youtube and watch a bunch of content of mm -hmm. of, of um of broadway folks and uh keep studying keep training keep, keep doing keep, it keep at it just yeah. keep at it yeah. well we can't thank you enough for being with us thanks for so having much, me Wes. thank you and remind us when can people go see 12. It, we're playing now. We're right. uh, already in previews, and we open on the 27th officially, and we run through the end of October. Right. Excellent. Thank well, we can't so thank much. you enough. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined everything. <laughs>